Have you ever pondered how the delicate dance between law, religion and state plays out differently across the globe? The intricate relationship between these three entities is a fascinating study, and today, we delve into this complex realm. Consider, for example, the United States, a country founded on the principles of religious freedom. Its constitution guarantees the separation of church and state, ensuring a secular government that does not favor any religion over another. This approach is mirrored in its education system, where public schools are free from religious influence. Yet the right to practice religion freely is fiercely protected, demonstrating the delicate balance between secularism and religious freedom. On the other hand, we have countries like Iran, where religion and state are not separate. The legal system is heavily influenced by religious principles, and blasphemy laws are strictly enforced. This intertwining of religion and state can often lead to the oppression of religious minorities and restrict freedom of expression. Yet, it's important to note that this approach, while vastly different from the American model, is deeply rooted in the country's history and culture. Nepal and India, another example, walk a middle path. It is a secular state that guarantees freedom of religion. However, religious practices and customs often influence social norms and laws. For example, different religious communities have their own personal laws governing matters like marriage and inheritance. As we continue our global journey, let's take a look at Nepal, a country with its own unique approach. Officially, Nepal is a secular state, but religion plays a significant role in its society and politics. The country's constitution guarantees freedom of religion, but also recognizes the special status of Hinduism. Despite being a secular state, religious festivals and customs are widely celebrated and have a significant influence on social norms. From the colorful spectacle of Dashain to the vibrant celebrations of Tihar, these traditions permeate daily life, creating a unique blend of secular governance and religious freedom. This shows another way of balancing secularism and religious freedom, a dance between the old and the new, the spiritual and the temporal. We'll see how this dance continues to evolve as we move on to our next destination, France. Meanwhile in France, the principle of laicite, a stringent form of secularism, is upheld. The French state does not recognize any religion, and laws are designed to keep public life free from religious influence. Yet, individuals are free to practice their religion in private illustrating another unique approach to balancing secularism and religious freedom these varying approaches underline the complexities involved in balancing secularism and the right to religion each country's approach is shaped by its unique historical cultural and social context to summarize the relationship between law religion and state is a complex dynamic dance countries like the united states maintain a clear separation between church and state ensuring a secular government and education system while protecting the right to practice religion freely. In contrast, countries like Iran intertwine religion and state, with religious principles heavily influencing their legal system. Nepal and India walks a middle path, maintaining a secular state while allowing religious customs to influence certain aspects of social norms and laws. France upholds a stringent form of secularism, keeping public life free from religious influence while allowing private religious practice. Balancing secularism and the right to religion is an intricate task, and each country's approach reflects its unique history, culture, and societal context. The dance continues and the music changes, but the steps remain rooted in the timeless struggle between individual freedom and societal norms.